Hey, happy Friday to you. Welcome back to the Friday Funnies. I, I hope you had a good week. I started my week by celebrating Earth Day. My granddaughter and I played in the Earth. Well, I wasn't playing. I was just trying to get up. But still, now we are preparing for what has been called Cicada Geddon. According to cicada experts, in a week or two, approximately 20 gazillion trillion cicadas from two broods will emerge from the ground and have sex very noisily and then will die. There's so many of them that's going to be here that recipes are floating around on how to prepare them for dinner. Whose dinner? It was bad enough finding a worm in my can of green beans. I'm not going to eat a cicada on purpose. And that goes for fried crickets and candied grasshoppers and any other insect. There might be bugs for some of you mugs, but there'll be no bugs for me. I tried to debug the stories and the funnies, but some things just need to be stepped on. Please hang up and try again. The Tenoji Zoo in Osaka, Japan is home to Jen Chan, a 12-year-old male hippopotamus. At least that's what everybody thought. After housing Jen Chan for seven years, zoo officials finally figured out he's actually a she. They said they suspected something because Jen Chan never displayed the typical male hippo behavior of marking his territory by using his propeller-type tail to splatter feces when he defecates. <laughs> Note to self, never get a male hippo for a pet. They also said that Jen Chan never made courtship calls to females and zookeepers said they could not visually identify any male genitalia. <laughs> Well, there it is, my friends. If you don't see the toys, you ain't got a boy. You wouldn't buy a car without looking under the hood, so you shouldn't buy a male hippo without checking under for wood. <coughs> the Dumbass of the Week award is shared by two men this week. Alfredo Rodriguez, 77, and Hector Cortez, 54, were arrested this week in Newark, New Jersey, and charged with the theft of 140 shopping carts from a ShopRite supermarket. Over time, the pair drove a van to the supermarket parking lot, took several shopping carts, and after about 30 trips, they had amassed 140 carts that they planned to sell for $200 apiece. The mistakes that this duo made include number one, returning to the same scene of the crime 30 times, and two, stealing shopping carts which are very difficult to hide under your coat. Either way, it was a dumb crime and these are our two dumbasses of the week. Milan, Italy is a lovely place to visit and enjoy a delicious gelato as long as you do it before midnight. Apparently late night liquors are causing a problem by having ice cream and hanging out in the streets talking. There's no guns, just ice cream cones. But authorities are trying to restore order by banning the purchase of ice cream after midnight. Citizens have until May to appeal the law, but they've already begun protesting. Marches of cone-toting rebels were seen shouting, You scream! I scream! We all scream for ice cream! Uh, of course, they shouted it in Italian, so it, it may not have rhymed. So if you're in Milan and fancy some ice cream, do it before midnight. Or as the locals say, if you want a lick, do it quick. Hey, my friends, that's it for another week of funnies. Thank you for joining me. Please listen to my podcast, Another Day Above Ground, and it'll make you laugh even more. Pass these along to your friends. Have a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you next Friday. <laughs>